Next question, in your opinion, how involved should a commissioning provider be in resolving issues in a field of construction that that specific commissioning professional is familiar with? Uh, this is good. Um, so I, I think, well, what I would say is, is that the contractor is ultimately responsible for correcting issues that are not compliant with the design uh, documents. And you're, so if you tested to the, the operational intent per the design documents, uh, then you, you identify that issue. You certainly should be ready to offer suggestions for how they might go about it or why it doesn't work and what they, you know, what they might uh, undertake to resolve it in terms of ac actually executing it. Typically, you are not scoped to go that far. Now, that doesn't mean many of us don't end up in the weeds a bit helping, you know, troubleshoot it. Maybe you're in the midst of testing and the, the controls contractor wants to fix the problem right then and there. Uh, I'd be cautious about that. It sets a bit of a precedent, but it's not uncommon. And maybe you can help just by talking it through. Uh, but it is pretty easy to have scope creep happen. If you find five issues on the job and you're helping resolve them, it's a, that's maybe no big deal. But when you run into 500, uh, there tends to be a connection between bad contractors and uh, excessive quantities of issues and probably a lack of ability to resolve them. And so maybe you're just doing all that work yourself. So be mindful of that. Typically, I would suggest you define in your spec, certainly in your commissioning scope, the limits of your testing particularly the retesting portion and the costs associated with additional retesting that the owner should not be responsible for, uh, at least not without an offset from the contractor. So, um, you know, if you're like me and a lot of it, a lot of us in this business, we really want to fix problems. It's a, it's a great part about this job is we find problems. We want to see them fixed. Uh, just know that to stay in business, you can't do it for nothing and um, nor should the client have to pay you uh, to fix problems you discovered uh, that the contractor owns. So, you know, just be mindful of that when you're putting your scope together uh, and, um, and, and when you're executing it to be careful about that scope creep. Uh, 